Hello Enderwebs. I realized I hadn't done a video for quite some time, so I thought I'd give you an update. For one thing, this is the first video actually being shot without my camcorder. I picked up a little cheap handy cam, so this is actually being done in high def now. Anyway, a few changes. As you can see, it has some switches on the front panel for controlling stuff. I can now turn my inlet and exhaust fan on, as well as my controller. Hopefully that's not too loud and you can still hear me. I've added a Lazy Susan bearing to the bottom, so now I can simply turn this quite easily to get to the back and stuff like that. The machine is now primarily assembled. As you can see, I used different color sheathing on the wires so I could figure out uh, which was the X, Y, and Z axes when they run back up inside. Ignore the camera, that's for a different feature at a different time. Ignore the hose clamps and the cheesy motor mount and the high class felt pen. But it does actually work. I've loaded a little sample test wizard thing here and uh, you can see it in action. I just clicked cycle. <laughs> Obviously this is just being done with a felt pen on a whiteboard because I've still got a few issues to sort out and I really don't want to have a uh, 7 amp motor with a carbide bit on the end of it potentially grinding right through my board or whatever so until I get a few of the bugs worked out I'm going to stick to soft felt pens being held down with electrical tape just for safety purposes but uh, anyway yeah so there it goes you can actually see it working, doing stuff. And oh, here, I'll just spin the cabinet around since I can and uh, show you the insides, which are now wired up primarily. Whoops, that was a few pieces of plastic falling. Ignore that. So you can see the uh, fans are wired and running, and some of the switches, and you saw all the rest of the previous video, so I won't rehash that and bore the hell out of you. Oh yeah, I've got the all-important uh, e-stop button here, which uh, isn't exactly wired in yet, all in due time. And there's the uh, controller board, which still has to get wired in to the uh, main controller. But since I don't have a spindle motor to hook up to it right now, it really doesn't matter anyway. So uh, there we go. I'll spin that around, and there's Mach 3 running which is the uh, software used to control everything. And, uh, oh yeah, here's the uh, little numeric keypad that I showed you way, way back in the first video, which, um, come on, cord, turn. There. Stretch that out. And as you can see, just by uh, hitting buttons on that, much easier. being able to hold this in your hand and see what you're doing versus going back to a keyboard over there. Anyway, that's it for the moment. There's your update. But uh, i got to get back to car work stuff. So this uh, may be the last video for a little while until I get some uh, further stuff done. Talk to you later.